Number 48, using complete subshell notation, not abbreviations, so 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, and so forth, predict the electron configuration of each of the following atoms, and then I have A through E. Okay, so I've done two problems already that, that goes into depth about how to set up the periodic table for electron configuration. Now I've done this already for you, so if you want to pause the video and just highlight these three sections, the yellow and the blue and the green, if you don't have it on your periodic table, just pause the video and do that real quick, and then we will get started. Okay, so let's first work with A, carbon. We need to write the electron configuration for carbon. Now, you should know a couple things. First off, if you've noticed, I've put helium here. When we're doing electron configuration, it's very, it's much easier if you put helium right next to hydrogen and forget that it's all the way over on the right-hand side. Also, just know what these colors represent. The yellow represents the S orbital or the S subshells. The green represents all the electrons that are found in the P subshells. The blue is representing all of the electrons that are found in the D. And then the ones that I didn't color down here, those are your F orbital electrons. Now, how do we find electron configurations, especially when we're doing the not abbreviated version? All you got to do is just follow the atomic number. That's all you got to do. And remember, the atomic number is always the number that's not a decimal, right? It's always the whole number. So hydrogen is 1, lithium is 3, sodium is 11, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You go from 1 all the way to the number that you need. In this case, we need to go to carbon, which is over here. Now, carbon's atomic number is 6. So I have to pass from 1 all the way to 6. So I got to collect... Basically, you're like collecting boxes. You think of the periodic table as like boxes, or you could think of it as electrons, like how Pac-Man has to get all of these electrons before he reaches his home, right? And in this case, it's carbon for A. Um, one other thing, just remember that the S's start with 1. So this first a yellow group would be 1s, and then drop down it's 2s and 3s, etc., etc. The um, p's start with 2, so this would be 2p and 3p. The blues start with 3, so this would be 3d, 4d, etc. And then the f's, what do you think? It starts with 4, so this would be 4f and 5f. Okay. So now, Let's start. We have to start at hydrogen. Now, the first one will go a little slow, but then you'll see, you'll start to pick it up so that we could do B through E much faster. So you got to start with one, right? Because that's, you got to follow the atomic number and that's in the 1s category, right? So that's what I'm going to write first, 1s, 1s. And since you passed both one and two, helium has the atomic number two. So since you pass both boxes in the 1s um, subshell, you put the 2 up top there. Now you go down to 3. Okay, well, 3 is over here. 3 is the 2s. So you write, oops, you write 2s, and now you still want to get to number 6. So you pass both 3 and 4. So that's 2 more electrons, so 2 up top. Now... You're finally at number five, because we're just following the atomic number, and that's 2p. So 2p, and then how many electrons or how many boxes or how many circles do you need to collect? You only need to collect two, because two would be carbon, and that's where we want to stop. So this would be 2p2. And that's the end for that. Moving on. B. See, it's that simple, guys. So now we got to do the same thing. We got to start from one, but now we want to get all the way to phosphorus, which is here. So now I have to go from one all the way to 15. And you're going to see that it's going to be very monotonous because it's the same electron configuration starting off. It's just where you end is different. So you got to start with one. So that's the one S and you collect both boxes one and two. So that's one S two. Then you drop down to number three. That's two S. You collect both boxes, so that's 2s2. 
Now you're at number five and you have to go to number 15. So you're going to get all of the two P's. In this case, if I count the boxes, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that would be two P six. And now we're down to number 11 because 10 was left off here. So you got to find out where number 11 is. That's three S and I still need to get to 15. So I collect two boxes there. And then finally number 13 is over here. So that's the three P, but now I just need the three boxes. So that would be three P three and that's done. So A and B are already done. C, vanadium. Vanadium is right here. So now I got to go even farther. You collect everything up until phosphorus and then you keep continuing on. So if you've noticed, I mean, everything is basically the same unless you have to add more stuff. So got to start from the beginning. That's one S pick up both boxes. So that's a two, two S two. Now we're at number five. So that's two P six. You have to collect all six of them. You're at sodium now, right? So that's number 11. You're at the 11th electron. So that's three S two. Now you're at number 13. So that's three P. And in this case, you have to collect all of them because you want to get all the way down here. So you got to collect all of these boxes per se, all of these electrons. So that's three P six. And now you're down to number 19. That's four S, right? Because one, two, three. So this one would be four and you have to pass both of them. So that's four S two. And now you enter three D how many one, two, three, because you want to stop at vanadium. So that's three D three. Now you can leave it like this, but usually when you stop at D's, usually they, um, rewrite this a little bit because usually it goes from increasing shell number, increasing N number and the big numbers like one, two, two, three, three, those are your N numbers, but then you have a four and a three. So you could leave it like this. I mean, there's nothing really wrong with that. Or you might see your teacher or professor uh, shifted on you like this 3s2 3p6 3d2 and then 4s2 but either one is is correct okay so now not b d sb so sb is over here that's antimony number 55 so now we're just doing the same thing right we ended at 23 for vanadium so we got to go a little more ways down to get to antimony. So let's go. 1s2. This kind of should be, you guys should be getting the hang of it, right? Just all you got to do is follow those atomic numbers. So 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. Then it's 3s2, right? Then it's 3p6. Then we're down to 4s2, right? Then we're down to 3D, but now I have to cross the whole 3D. If you count that, that's actually 10 boxes. So 3D 10. And now I'm just going to continue down here because I don't have a lot of room, but we're over here now, number 31. So that would be 4P. And that's 4P6 because we have to cross all of these to get down to 51. Now we're down to number 37. That's, um, that's five S two. Then we move on to four D once again, we have to go all the way across here. So that's four D 10. And then finally we're at five P and then how many one, two, three. So that's five P three. And then once again, if you want to rearrange the ending a little bit because you have a four, five, four, five. So all you would do is just switch these two if you wanted to have the increasing shell number, but that's up to you. I'm just going to leave it here just because you could do that, you know, on your own next. And last but not least, we'll do SM. So I'll put SM up here. SM is in the F's Samarium. So, well, how do we get to there? Well, we still got to follow the atomic numbers, right? We still got to keep in mind that we're trying to get to 62. So 
we've been all the way to 51. So basically, if we looked back at SB, everything up until this point is literally the exact same thing. So we'll do this quick. We got to still start at number one, right? So this would be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. I'm just following the atomic numbers. Then we come to 4s2. Now we enter the d's. So this would be 3d10. Then we come to 4p6. Then 5s2. 4d10. 4d10. And let me pull all this over a little bit just so that we have enough room to kind of... Oop. We can't do that. We're just going to keep moving with it. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, now let's just keep rolling with it. We got, what do we got? We got 5P6 because now we're over here, right? 5P and we need to now pass SB. So that's a total of six there. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. So we're at here. Now we drop down to 6S2 because we're over here now, right? We ended at 54. So now we go to 55. But now look at this, 55, 56, which was the 6s2. But now look at this, it says 57 through 71, drop down here. That's how we get to the f's. So now you would say 4f. So you won't cross over here, right? Because you still got to follow those numbers. We have to drop down to where 57 is, and 57 is this element right here. So now I'm at 4F, but how many do I need? One, two, three, four, five, and six. So this would be 4F, six. And then once again, if you want to rearrange this, because we have four, five, four, five, six, four, you would arrange them in increasing fours. So you would group all the fours together, and then you would get the fives, and then the six would be the last one. So if you guys want to do that. All right. So guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this helped. There's tons of more practice coming your way. There's tons of more problems in the OpenStax textbooks with the electron configuration. I think the next one is exactly the same thing. So maybe I'll see you in the next question. If you want, you can click subscribe, but if not, that's okay too. Any viewings or any likes will help the channel out. And I thank you for that. So I'll see you guys all in the next question. Bye-bye.